What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Friday, folks. That's right, it's a fired up Friday. Dustin's home alone, mama's gone, kids are at the sitters. Shocker, I know, I'm playing in my fish tanks. Who would have thought that a man would be alone with his fish tanks, playing in them things, having a blast, and I'm having a riot, and I want to show you what's going on. Here's what's up. Man, Friday feels good. It's funny, this is work now. This is like, actually, I have to, this is my job now. So, I was playing in the 125, got a lot of people uh, asking me about dirt, because I asked them what they wanted to know about dirt, and I want to talk about the question that I got the most, uh, I got asked the most, and it was, Dustin, how long does dirt last? That's like asking how long does a car last, but I'm gonna give you my best uh, answer right here for y'all. Obviously, I got the dirt and tank guide coming out here. This weekend, I'm trying to get that sucker out. We'll talk more about that in a second, but yo, this is my 125 that I dirted seven and a half years ago. Um, and I talk about the trials and tribulations and what I did right and what I did wrong all throughout the guide, but it's been rolling for seven years. I'd love to tell you that this tank is still going at full go. It's not. However, before the YouTube era, um, yeah, it was a lonely time in my life actually, but um, I had uh, this tank was running high tech. I had like eight 32 watt bulbs on it. I had CO2. I uh, was hitting it with heavy furts. It was actually my only tank, if you can believe that. And I had no friends in Lexington, so I just like hung out and played with the fish tank. And I wish I had a video of it back in the day because it was pretty sick. But it's been running for like seven and a half years, almost eight years now. The dirt is kind of starting to slow down, but I'm still getting like the growth out of the swords. I mean, you can see that sword over there. You can see the sword over there. I just did a big old water change on it too. I actually ran the water out the door, uh, excuse me, out the window there, which was kind of tight through the hose in. So yeah, it's getting a little, I'm going to, it's getting a little out. It's, it's not, uh, it's not, you know, bumping quite as much as it was, but I mean, look, seven years, come on. I mean, who has a tank set up for seven years? Like that's, that's a long time. I'm happy about it. And, um, you know, yeah, so seven years, I mean, the Kretum, no problem, doing fine, still dirting, still rolling. I think I could keep going with this. So I don't know. I've, I've talked about tearing it down. I'm probably going to do that this winter at some point. So. But yeah, I don't know. Every tank's different. If you run your tank like high tech, high light, lots of uh, lots of stuff in it, lots of CO2, lots of ferts, and everything. The plants grow like crazy. They're probably going to eat the dirt a little faster than if it's uh, low tech. I mean, Wallstead talks about it where she's like, you know, my tanks, I never tear them down. I don't know. She says they run forever, whatever. So every tank's different, but they last a long time. That's the bottom line. So I'm excited to show you all this. Thing. It looks like it's not in focus for some reason. Come on, you bunk camera. I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. So that's what's going on here, but I got more. Let's go downstairs, folks. So check it out, we're rolling downstairs. Rolling, rolling, we got this rolling. You wanna talk about editing? Speaking of, I don't edit videos. Editing freaking guide sucks. This is what's coming out, folks. Coming in your face, real jacked about it. Lots of fun stuff going on. It's not just a bunch of photos, it's actually real deal content, so. Really excited about that. I'm trying to get it out this weekend. Uh, I've got a couple of things, like technical issues that I'm trying to work through to get it going. I've also, uh, my girl Megan came over today and took a ton of photos. So a photo of actually, a bunch of photos of me setting up a tank every step of the process. So those are going in there too. They aren't even there. You can't even see those yet. So real pumped about that. The only way to check that out is to get on the Aquatic Jungles newsletter. I'm doing a huge release of it. I'm giving away a bunch of stuff. I'm real excited about it, uh, just real pumped. I'm also uh, working on international shipping. I've, I've, I've put a couple calls into people and I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm trying to figure out international shipping on uh, aquarium plants, so that could be fun. But And I also cleaned up the 220. You know, it's doing all right. Uh, I know some people are like, dude, I like the old layout more. <sighs> you know, it was just time to move on, folks. I'm trying some new stuff with this driftwood and I'm, that one piece of driftwood was big and it was sick, but I mean, I had it for like four years, so I, I kind of moved on from it. So showing you this, uh, I just did a big water change. I showed the, showed the tank half full on the Facebook fan page, Dustin's Fish Tanks on Facebook. So definitely gonna wanna check that out. And I got a couple shout outs to do. 
Um, shout out to my man David in, I think it's Deerfield, New York. Bro sent me a bunch of this sick plant. I think it's frog bit. I got to look it up and check it all out. But it's out in the greenhouse right now. Uh, and then Harold and Elaine, they bought a golden touch combo for me. And I had just an awesome conversation. I'm going to put pictures of that up on the Facebook page as well. Uh, and Instagram once I get that set up. Just another thing to manage. But um, they just were real pumped. They came off of a reef. I'm going to do a big blog post. Uh, about it as well, but they're just real excited. They got an easy setup going. I'm excited to hook them up with plants. And then today I was on the phone for like 45 minutes from a lady who's probably not going to watch this video. I don't know. It's Janet in New York as well. And uh, she saw my ad in Tropical Fish Hobbyist and was just, we just started shooting the breeze. And I was like, oh, you've never tried Crenum? You got to try this. You got to try that. So it's kind of funny because she wasn't able to get plants where she was located. And I was like, well, I'll just hook you up. So I got her a combo going out next week. So I'm excited. Uh, I, I'm probably going to do a big uh, special with the launch too. Probably going to put some plants on sale uh, here in a little bit. So real pumped about it. Life's good, folks. That's all I can say. I mean, life's good. I mean, this has been killing me. No joke. This is, sucks. I mean, it's just like editing. And that looks right. Blah, blah, blah. The cat. The cat. The, the, the girlness. See all this? Hi, Gogo. -Go. Yeah. You want some of this? What's up, Gogo? -Go? Cat just jumped up in your face. She knows what's up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm having a blast. I'm doing water changes. I want to know what you guys are doing in your tanks this weekend. And um, yeah, I got two clean tanks for a change. You believe that? So everybody make it. I don't know. I was going to say make it an awesome week. I hope you had an awesome week. Have an awesome Friday night. Let's get after it. Tank on, people. Light up.